Hey there, it's good to see you. Um, I'm glad to bring a message to you from my office. And um, uh, I've been missing you, um, sending you my love. Uh, I want you to know something. I sent out a letter via email and we'll be sending a hard copy as well to those who don't get email. But I want you to know that the deacons and the church council, 40 of your church leaders, made a significant decision over the weekend. On May 30th and May 31st, uh, they decided that we would continue to worship uh, virtually through the summer Sundays. Um, this was a very hard decision at one level, but the fact that it was unanimous meant that your leaders feel the best thing that we can do in this summertime of COVID-19 is to stay apart, to stay healthy, and to uh, work for that time to be back together. So it breaks my heart. I shared in the letter something uh, that on Easter, I kept hoping and dreaming that we would be back together. It, it was even the night before Easter, I was thinking, we could do this, right? No, it didn't work. And all of the glory, the music, the celebration, the sunrise, the potluck at breakfast, the timpani, the brass, I missed it all. And we had the butterflies, but it wasn't the same without the children. So I've got to tell you, it's felt like that almost every Saturday night into Sunday for me. When I walk into the sanctuary on Sunday morning, I grieve as I miss you. Um, I love Emily and Mark and Kevin and Peter and Mark. Being together as a team is really remarkable, but it's not the same without you. We're going to do this this summer to stay healthy and stay safe. But at the same time, this extraordinary time in what the church knows as ordinary time is a chance for us to follow Christ in new ways. And so I want you to spend this summer day in and day out, morning in and morning out, asking how you can serve Christ in new ways. Ask your children, ask your family, Spend time wondering and then acting upon your decisions on how to serve Christ in new ways. We'll be dealing with this through preaching and other uh, teaching opportunities. There's going to be a lot of things going on this summer. We're just not going to be together in the sanctuary for worship. Something that you need to know, though, very exciting, that during the Sundays of June and maybe continuing on, we're going to get back to the 9 a.m. worship service. So the morning prayer that many of us have come to know and love as part of our life together, uh, will kick back in this Sunday, June 7th. So join us at 9, followed immediately by a Zoom coffee hour, and then we'll move into the 11 o'clock live stream. So keep in touch, figure out how you can follow Christ in new ways, and look for emails and opportunities that will come to you this summer. I miss you all. I love you all. And you're right here. So let's keep in touch.